Grant with Wendell Lee Well Services here again. Uh, I'm going to answer a question, do a quick video. Uh, answering a quick question that I get asked a lot, and that is, what size pump do I need to put in my well? Is it going to be strong enough to guarantee me enough water pressure in my house? And I'm going to answer that in kind of a, a, a two-part uh, video series, but this is going to be the first video, and what I wanted to hint, hint on at first is what is a submersible pump and actually uh, how it works. Uh, so you can see I've got a, I've actually taken a pump that went bad that we pulled out several months ago, and I've actually taken it apart and, and deconstructed it so you can see it. So, so a submersible pump consists of uh, really what I like to call three parts. You got the motor here, you got the coupling on top of the motor that connects the motor to the pump end, and then you've got the pump end right here. That. Let's see if I can do this right today. There it is. That sits on top and connects the two. Okay, so you're probably asking, and this video is uh, not really referring to what kind of manufacturer or anything. This is in general how submersible pumps are. Um, probably asking what this is right here. So for video purposes as well, I took the bottom and the top head off and took the uh, inside of the pump out. You've probably heard a lot of well manufacturers or pump manufacturers talking about stacks or some impellers in the stack have gone out. Um, this is the actual stack inside this pump. Uh, this is a one horsepower, 10 gallon a minute pump in. So you can see um, this, this shaft goes through, extends down through the pump and connects to the motor. And these stacks, again, you've, or stages as pump manufacturers like to call it, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is eleven stage pump. Okay, and got these little bowls in here. You can see these bowls have these little impellers in them that are basically like uh, water wheels that you've seen uh, coming out of old mill houses where you've got a river running over them that are turning a shaft. Uh, it's the same concept. The only difference is is these are inside of here and they're uh, stacked in stages to provide you the water that you need. So this goes over generally about how a pump works. Um, they make pumps in all sizes and all shapes. Um, over here on my left hand I've got three pumps that are the same gallon a minute pump in size. So the pump in is exactly the same. They're 10 gallon a minute. I've got a half horsepower here, three quarter horsepower here, one horsepower here. You can see they're a little, <coughs> excuse me, you can see they're a little bit different in size. Size difference being A, the motor is a little bit larger, and B, the, the actual stack size is a little bit larger to accommodate the larger motor size. So, irregardless of pump manufacturer, um, this is what a submersible pump is going to be uh, constructed of. Motor, pump, stages and size of it. Of it. Uh, they make these in all shapes and sizes. We stock up pumps in all shapes and sizes. The reason being is every well is different. Uh, every customer uh, uses water a different way. Um, over here you can see this very large uh, pump in. This is just a pump in assembly. That's right. This is a seven and a half horsepower, 90 gallon a minute pump in. So you can see it takes a lot of stacks to be able to provide that kind of performance. So just a quick video, kind of going over what a pump is, how, it's, how it works, stay. Um, you know, ultimately, depending on how much water you use, basically what flow rate of water you need and at what pressure you need it, this is going to determine what gallon a minute pump in you need and what size motor you need to uh, push that amount of water up to your desired location where, where your water exits. So thanks for watching. This is part one of a two-step two video. Uh, next, 
Next video I'll go over will be how to actually uh, si size a submersible pump. So stay tuned. Check us out at WindleyWellServices.com as well as on our YouTube channel for more videos coming up in the future.